بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Okay, so welcome to this uh, tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to write a simple publisher and subscriber, and this is based on the typical ROS tutorial on this page. I'm going to provide uh, an explanation on how actually to run it, and also the different comments for creating a publisher and also a subscriber. Okay, so I assume that you have already installed uh, Eclipse and uh, configured it to, with uh, the ROS environment. Otherwise, you can also use uh, any uh, text editor for writing the code. Okay, so uh, this is my uh, the Catkin package. Okay, so we have here a Catkin uh, workspace and inside you have a beginner tutorial. And now we are going to put our Torkoal and Listener inside the src folder that is the source file folder so first of all we need to create file uh, the source file okay i'm going to call it talker.cpp okay so it's added here in the same way I, in, uh, I can also create another file that i will call listener.cpp again in the uh, beginner tutorial src folder so now it should appear here okay so I have my talker node just a refresh now the listener appears and both are empty so all I need to do now is to write to copy paste the code that is in uh, the tutorial so I'm going to copy it from uh, I'll copy the code here So this is the code for talker.cpp and in the same way I'm going to copy listener.cpp Okay, so let's go through these uh, two files So the first thing you need to do for writing any ROS node is to include the ROS library ROS-ROS.h and also here we are going to create a publisher and a subscriber so the publisher will publish a string message so this is basically how our publisher and subscriber will look like okay so we have here a talker node okay that will publish it publishes a chatter topic and this chatter will carry a message of type std msgs string so it's a string message that is going to be published by the talker and and then it's going to be collected and listened by the listener which is which will implement a subscriber and of course these two nodes should actually communicate in advance with the master so that the talker register that it is a publishing it's a node that will be publishing the chatter topic and the listener will be looking for the chatter topic and will contact the master for for this purpose okay so now for doing this i need to include the message uh, string uh, the string message type that is stdmsg this is a ROS message and by the way you need to make sure that in your catkin make list so you have you find this the, the package stdmsgs okay here and also you must add it as a dependency so we can look at the dependencies catkin depend okay and it depends on std images so all standard messages will uh, provide a dependency for for the the project we are working on in this package the beginner tutorial and also the same thing in the package.xml we have to make sure that std msgs okay is uh, is a dependency for both running the program and also building the program for compilation you have to add these two lines to make sure that they are there okay so in order to create uh, a node the first thing you need to initialize the node using the ROS init okay and you give a name to this node in this case it's going to be uh, called talker because this uh, this node will be publishing a topic so it's a talker okay so we initiate a new ROS node named talker and then the second step is to create a node handle and this node handle it represents a reference assigned to a new node every node you create must have a reference so and this is done through the ROS node handle class 
that will provide a handle object for the node. And this actually, this uh, node handle will be used for creating publishers and also for creating subscribers. So when the node is created, the third step is to create a publisher. Okay, because we are in the talker, so the talker is a publisher. We use the ROS publisher class to create the publisher object that we will call here chatter publisher. Okay, and we use the node handle n that we have created here, dot, and then one of the method is advertise. Okay, advertise. It allows to advertise a new topic whose name is chatter and the message type is std, std msgs string and here this is the buffer size how many messages can be actually accumulated in the buffer before being processed so here we will allow up to 10 uh, 1 1000 okay so so far we did not start publishing anything but just we declared a new publisher Okay, so here we declare the new publisher. So this is the step. If we come back, this is the step that the talker will register the topic to the roast master, but nothing is published yet. Okay, so we are going to use this object, chatter publisher, later on in order to publish the message. Okay, so in order to create some delay on uh, in the loop, we can do this using the roast rate class. And we can create an object that is called loop rate, or you can give any other name. And here we are going to create one message per second. So one message per second, this is the number of messages per second. If I want 10 messages per second, I can change it to 10.0. Or if I want 100 messages per second, I can change it to... So this is the number of messages per, per second. So in this case, I'm going to change it to only one second. That's what I... Uh, so this means I'm going to make the publisher publishing messages each one second and of course you can change this one if you want to publish each two seconds you can put this to 0 0.5 message per second so in this case we will have one message one message each two seconds so i'm going to make it to one okay and now we are going to make uh, an endless loop for the publisher so while ros okay this means it's going to spin uh, and this time until the user will press Control C. So this is better than making while true because while true this is an endless loop. But if you make ROS OK, so you can actually interrupt the program by pressing Control C, and we are going to see later on uh, this uh, how to stop the program when it is running. Okay, so now everything is ready. We need first to create a message to be published. So I'm going to create a message of type string. Okay, so this is a ROS type. Okay, in the package standard messages. Okay, and then I'm going to, to create a string stream. This is a C++ uh, type in which I'm going to put hello world. I will add the count. And finally, in the message that I have created, okay, MSG. So if I click dot, so it has only one attribute that is data. So msg.data it's, it's going to equal to the message that I have formulated here. Very simple. And then I'm going to make a small print. So talker, I published percent %s and then I will put the message that is published. And finally, so this is the key point here. This is where the message will be published. It's at this step. We publish the message. So we are going to call chatter publisher then dot and then we are going to call the publish method okay and the publish method here we are going to put uh, the message of type standard msgs of course this type was already specified here so if you put any other message of different type it's going to be a compilation error so obviously since the chatter publisher has a type standard message of string okay this is the same type of the message that we have that we define here okay so now everything is ready finally i know to make ros spin once so spin once is actually uh, it allows to 
send all the messages that are in the buffer. So publish will put the message in the buffer and only when spin once is, uh, is called then the message will be processed and will be effectively published. And uh, we are going to try when to stop uh, row spin once what will happen. Okay, and finally I'm going to make a small sleep of one second before publishing the next message. Then we increment the counter and we repeat all the process. So here we are going to publish one message of type string in which I'm going to put hello world plus the count which will be incremented each time. Okay, and finally this is going to be printed 